we are playing Gen 1 PU, the fifth tier. So I'm using completely trash Pokemon, and I don't really know RBY too well. I know general stuff, like the mechanics. So I'm pretty sure Nidoqueen into Arcanine is a good lead matchup, because I can always Earthquake. If they go to a Flying type, I don't really care, because I can Blizzard it next turn. Okay. Okay. I'm dead to crit if they have it. Do I go to Staryu? I don't know how to speed it. Yeah. The, the problem is Nidoqueen's my best physically defensive Pokemon, so I need it to switch into Fero. But I think I can take it here. Okay, easy dodge. Easy dodge is good there. I think RBY in general is a lot of luck. So the, the format is best of three, not best of one, purely because... Not purely, but because of how much luck there is in the format. With the high crit rates and the random... Well, the 1 by 256 is not a big deal, but the high crit rates are annoying. Stuff like sleep and freeze are annoying. RBY has always been relatively controversial. So here, sleep is basically a one-hit KO move because you can't do anything after it. So how do I want to play it? Do I want to go to Ghastly? It, it, it's literally one-hit KO move. I could try and dodge it in Earthquake. I mean, Hypno Dodge, not great, but I live Psychic. Might as well go for it. Yep. Because it's just a one-hit KO move. I have to choose which Pokemon gets one-hit KO'd. I might as well stay in. Because if I switch, I have to deal with the Hypno Miss again. Which is not worth it. Okay, Star you in. This does not KO me. I might as well get my Thunderbolt off here. 250, 268. Do I Thunderbolt and then go Fero? They probably have their own Needle Queen in the back. So I have to be careful about that. I know the T-Bolt's coming in. What do I want to do about it? I'll T-Bolt myself. I'm okay with Needle Queen taking damage. Okay. That's fine. Firo does one-hit KO star you. So their final Pokemon would be Firo. Firo, Needle Queen, and Seeking maybe? 268. I do have a 288 Arcanine. I think Fero is the best option. Drill pick is a KO. They go to Graveler. Okay. I've never seen a Graveler before. I would think the intent is to counter Fero, one of the best Pokemon, because it's so fast. I'm going to go to Seeking here. Staryu is probably a little too frail. I think I value the speed on it. That did nothing to me. I could Agility. I'm not sure they want to give up Graveler when I have Fero, so Surf is kind of good. The worst case scenario is the explosion, which is still good, because at that point, I lose. They lose their Pharaoh counter. So what are we thinking? Graveler, Nidoqueen. Graveler, Nidoqueen, Fero. Graveler, Nidoqueen, Fero. I agility. Yep. Okay. Hyper Beam gets the knockout, but they could obviously switch out here. So Double Edge can knock out Staryu, Hyper Beam guarantee knocks out Staryu, but they could also switch predicting either of them. I think Double Edge is safer, I get, you know, like, what, what is the crit chance? Maybe 10 to 15% crit chance and the 30% chance to just knock it out anyway. If I get hit by T-Bolt, it's annoying. Hopefully they try and bait Hyper Beam. Yep, they tried to bait Hyper Beam. Now I Surf, and if it's Nidoqueen Fero, either way I'm happy. 22. Do it again for the guaranteed KO. Okay. Looking good. Yeah, they do go to Fero now. Their Hyper Beam doesn't KO me, which is good. So I have to think Nidoqueen last, so my Staryu is going to be really valuable to beat Nidoqueen Graveler. The immediate concern is dealing with Fero here. I think I Surf. Oh, this can have agility too, right? Hope it doesn't try and fodder me. Okay. Yeah, I always surf here. Okay, hold. No crit, that's fine. But Arcanine Staryu, I think, does well enough to beat the final few Pokemon. I go Arcanine here, and I Body Slam. Even if Graveler is trying to come in... How much does Fire Blast do to Graveler? Doesn't do enough. I'll Fire Blast in case they want to go Graveler. Yeah. 33? That's strong. 
I'm okay with chipping down Graveler for Firo and Staryu to win. Or just Firo, in fact. I'm okay with chipping down Graveler. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, so we're just raw breaking through now. 84 versus 89. I'll just Fire Blast. Okay, so far net lucky. Firo comes in. Gets the KO, but now I go to my own Firo. They have Nido Queen in the back. And I believe Staryu Ghastly beats Nido Queen. 23. Double Edge. Yeah, we should beat Nido Queen pretty comfortably. Crit helps. I, that didn't matter, but yeah. Alright, on to game two. Alright, on to game two, and there's a Porygon, which I don't know what it does. So I have to think it has T Wave. T Wave, maybe Blizzard? Probably. So do I want to switch to Neoqueen? I think that's fine. Yep. Okay. Now they go Blizzard. I'm going to go Ghastly on the Blizzard here because I don't think I take this 1v1. Or do I take it 1v1? Actually, I don't want to even play the game of 1v1 because I probably need Neoqueen late game for physically defensive ideas. The Agility. Okay. I'll trade Hypno on Porygon for getting paralyzed. Okay, got it. That's good. Do I just... Okay. What's the best way to take care of the paralyzed Porygon? I think Psychic. Because it's basically a one-hit KO at this point. Okay. That's good damage. Oh, paralyzed too. Perfect. Yeah, they, the Porygon sleep fodder. I think I reckon I don't need Ghastly anymore. Okay. Come on. Ooh, didn't work. Come on. That's fine. Now, what do we want to go to next? I'm thinking Firo could be good. And the reason I like Firo is that it kind of forces them to go to their Graveler or their Nidoqueen. But I also like Arcanine. What about Staryu? If I go Staryu, I can get T-Waves on key Pokemon. Maybe I go Staryu instead. Yeah, I like Staryu. Yep, they're going to give up the Porygon. That makes sense. Oh, they go to Ghastly. I outspeed, and they're going to try and Hypno me now. So this is going to be awkward. I think I have... Two water type Pokemon. I'm going to accept being Hypnoed. I'm fine with it. Okay. I'm a little fine with that too as well. Okay. In any case, I'm still fine with it. Okay. I'm fine with that too. Let's keep it going. Keep getting the Hypno misses, the T waves. Perfect. RBY has a lot of criticism because it's a little luckier than the other tiers. What does Dragonair do? Okay. Oh, this has like wrap, right? Wrap, I think. Wrap with the whole... That, that's a very annoying thing. I'll T-wave it to not deal with wrap. But RBY has the criticism that if you need a best of three to neutralize the luck of RBY, then maybe it's not a good format. That's the criticism of RBY. Okay, we trade T-wave. I think substitute Nidoqueen's good. But I'll be honest, I don't exactly know how rap works. I know the general idea of rap, but I don't remember the intricacies of how it works. I'm going to try Nido Queen. Agility. I think I outspeed. No, they outspeed me. Well, I blizzard. Okay, so I'm going to knock it out. The Pharaoh's basically done for, so I have like a 5-3 lead. To be honest, I'm very uncomfortable with what's going on. I don't exactly know how to play it. But the general idea when you don't know what to do is get damage on the board, keep attacking, get par get uh, paralysis, especially in RBY. Just get damage on the board and have good type matchup understandings and things will be fine enough, is the hope. Alright, so speed tie situation here. Uh, I think Earthquake does more damage, but Blizzard has a freeze chance. I'll just go for Blizzard. 
Yeah, they both did 50. That would have done 60. Nido Queen would have done 60 with Earthquake. Go to Seeking, we Agility, and then Surf and Body Slam everything around it. Okay. No full para. And Surf should get rid of Nido Queen or Fer Firo. That's good. Now, I have no idea what this Pokemon does, but I have Blizzard, so I'm going to go for that. 68. Does this outspeed me? No way. No quick attacks, right? GG. Alright, and that is RBYPU, the fifth tier. Let me know if you want to see more Gen 1 content. I feel like people like talking about Gen 1, but they don't like playing it. In any case, thanks for watching.